What's up ladies and gentlemen of Zen Dude Fitness, I am Dan Whitmer and today we're taking it to a new level. We're going to show you how to do a crisscross with a heavy rope. So for my beginners out there, what I want you guys to do is, is, is just concentrate on using the heavy rope and getting used to that motion with regular bounce. And then my more advanced people, I'd like you to try this trick out. So ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are a beginner, I encourage you just to try working with the heavy rope. You can get a 10% off discount if you click the link below and check out the heavy rope that we use. It's by Cross Rope. What I want you guys to do is challenge yourself and do as many as you can in one minute and comment below and post and let us know how many you did. Brandon and I are probably gonna do a challenge on this at some point in the future so practice 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 do the thing ladies and gentlemen let's get after it all right ladies and gentlemen how to crisscross with a heavy rope first of all let's get the regular crisscross form down i linked up the tutorial to the other crisscross but please understand guys that you might even want to try this first if you're a beginner and i say that because with the heavy rope it's a little bit easier for beginners to use because uh, the weight of the rope spins almost by itself so all you have to do is control it and the weight of the rope is going to allow the rope to spin around a little bit faster. Now notice here my regular bounce form is staying the same. That's gonna form the basis of any trick you do. My feet are not coming that high off the ground. Coming a little bit higher than they would with the agility rope because the heavy rope's a little thicker, um, but I'm maintaining that knees bent, feet coming slightly off the ground, elbows in, hands are jutting out to the sides of my hips, and I'm maintaining a good breathing pattern. Now the next thing we're gonna talk about is putting the guns in their holsters. And basically guys, putting the guns in their holsters is a concept or just a way of saying, um, doing the actual crisscross. So notice how when my hands are open um, and then I close them, I put my left over right, you can do right over left, it doesn't matter. But I'm putting my hands into the opposite pockets as if I'm in a Western movie and I'm putting the guns again back into their holster. So this is the most important uh, part of the trick, but remember, it's something that you're gonna need to practice, practice, practice. You can watch this tutorial all the time, guys, but you have to practice this. Um, when it goes back into slow motion here, what I want you guys to notice is a lot of people tend to get really excited, and when they do the cross, they undo the cross too fast, and that's what causes them to mess up. Notice here how I cross and uncross at the same exact speed. I'm not rushing it um, when I'm putting the guns in their holsters and taking them out. It's one fluid motion uh, to ensure that I'm not messing up. And the next thing we're gonna talk about is making sure that you use the weight of the rope. And what I mean by using the weight of the rope is what I talked about a little earlier, where if you see here, the rope is spinning around pretty effortlessly because I'm using it and because there's a little bit more weight to it than the agility rope, that's able to, that inertia is able to continue allowing the rope to spin around. So when it's time to crisscross, I merely slide my hands or, or put the guns in their holsters and it's a nice fluid motion. Look how, look how nice and tight that rope is. There's no kinks in it. Um, and that's, that's the look that you want to have when doing this. So notice here, you want to use the weight of the rope to guide it around. Don't try and force the rope around. You wanna spin the rope and then just slightly control it as it comes around. So again, guys, putting the guns in their holsters, just practicing that left over right or right over left. And you can even do this without a rope at first. Next thing, guys, sliding the hands up and back. This is super important. Um, if you'll notice, my hands are basically just going right to left, left to right horizontally. So from the side, as you can see here, from that arrow, my hands are just going up and back. And when they go back, that's what's allowing the weight of the rope is pulling my arms backward and then allowing the rope to be tight so that I can shift them forward. This is very important because if you keep your hands in one place, you're probably gonna mess up. Because it's a heavier rope, you have to give it a little bit more torque. So as you can see here, Yes, I'm controlling the rope, but the weight of that rope, I'm allowing it to pull my hands back so the rope stays tight when I bring it forward. Now here you can see me in the run in place. Doesn't really change, same kind of motion. And the next thing I would like to talk about is practicing variations. Once you have this down, I want you guys to understand, it's a little bit easier, as you can see here, I'm doing running in place. It is a little bit easier to do running in place because when you do the cross, you only have to go under one foot instead of two. So that's what I'd recommend first, but you can also go, now, now here I'm doing consecutive, um, and look how nice and smooth that is if, on the zoom in here. When I'm doing the run in place, nice, excuse me, 
nice fluid motion. And now I'm just going regular bounce. This one's a little bit more, excuse me, this one's a little bit more trickier just because I have to go under both feet when I'm doing it. And you know, just have fun, mix it up. I am doing the run in place and the regular bounce here. Now, if you guys have any questions on this move, please let us know. Like I mentioned, you can get the heavy rope, which is awesome. I freaking love this thing. I didn't really used to use heavy ropes and now I use it all the time. Uh, for a 10% off discount, go ahead and check out the link below for cross rope. Um, thanks for tuning in to today's tutorial, guys. And remember, you have to do the thing. You can't just learn this by watching this tutorial or asking questions in a Facebook group. You have to practice, practice, practice. Zen Dude Nation, thank you as always for being here we love you we appreciate you we're out if you guys like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up below followed by a subscribe to receive more information and videos on how to jump rope get lean and have fun